All right, guys, my name is Cool Hand Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review, and today I am reviewing the Sierra Designs Convert 2 tent. This is a true four season tent, and it has a lot going for it. First off, when it comes to pack size, this is one of the smallest four season tents that I have ever used. I have plenty of them, and most of them are as big as a house. You need to carry them on a sled, they're that big. Now with this one, as you guys will see, it can compress down to a very small form factor. When it comes to weight, it's not very heavy either. There are of course some pros and cons and we will get to those right now. Now when it comes to the retail cost of this tent, you are looking at $500. Now that is expensive for a tent, not expensive for a fourth season tent. This is the Convert 2, there is a Convert 3 version available. Now when it comes to the weight, you are looking at five pounds, two ounces for everything. You can drop some of that weight, you can get that under the five pound mark, which is pretty impressive for a four season tent. Now that we've gone over the stats, let's take a look at the tent here because this tent does offer you some really cool options. First off, as you can see, it has a very good size vestibule. Now I'm nice and short, so I can easily fit inside of this. If you're a tall individual, it will be a little bit low to the ground. Still very functional, you can cook inside of this very easily. Plenty of room for two people's gear and so on. So let's say you're going out on an adventure, the weather conditions are nice and dry. You don't need this vestibule, right? Okay, well you can leave it at home. So just like that, you can remove the vestibule and you could drop almost 11 ounces from this tent. Now, if you are planning to go out without the vestibule, make sure that the weather conditions are dry because the zipper here on the door is not waterproof. Water resistant, but not waterproof, there is a huge difference. If you are expecting any type of nasty weather, bring the vestibule. Now, of course, here with the roof, it does stick out, I don't know, a good 12 inches or so away from the front. And that does give you some protection, but if you're in a storm, that water will make its way onto that front door and make its way in. Attaching and removing the vestibule is super simple. As easy as that. With the vestibule, you have this exposed pole, stakes out here in the front. It does have a snow skirt all the way around it, which is very, very handy. If you're out in a snowy environment, snow's landing on the tent, it will land on that skirt and it will prevent snow from being blown inside of the tent. As you can see, you do have a guy line here. You also have one on the other side. Continuing to go around the body of the tent, you have lots of guy lines all over the place, so you can stake this out when the weather conditions get really, really bad. More guy lines at the back. So let's go take a look at the inside. Going on in. Oh yes. You do have straps up there at the top, so you can introduce a line for drying clothes, gear caddies, and so on. On the left and right hand side, you do have mesh pockets. Now when it comes to the materials for this tent, the fly and the mesh is made from nylon. The body of the tent and the floor is polyester. Now again folks, this thing is huge. I mean look at how much space you have here. You can easily sit up, you can change clothes, do whatever you want to do. I can't begin to tell you how many times I have kicked back, enjoyed my dinner inside of this because it was raining or because it was snowing. Without a doubt, for one person this is a palace, for two people still lots and lots of room. It's plenty wide enough and long enough for the tallest of individuals and with the widest of sleeping pads. There is a door. Aha, check that out. This is a rarity with four season tents. This door right here actually has some mesh on it. How about that? Most double wall tents do not. So this is a very handy feature. It gives you a lot of ventilation, which is very appreciative, especially when you're out in a very wet condition, right? Maybe you're facing some rain or some freezing rain, maybe even a wet snow. You will like having that additional level of ventilation. With the ventilation aspect, that means that you can use this in the summertime and you won't be sweating your brains out because you will get some good airflow. There is a vent down here at the bottom, which can be 100% zipped up or unzipped for maximum air flow. So I have my trusty tape measure here. Let's just go ahead and check on the dimensions real quick. 55 inches wide, 42 inches tall here at the front, right at 84 inches long. So that's right at seven foot. At the foot of the tent, 
you are looking at 25 inches tall and 51 inches wide. So very, very good size. Now already we've gone over the tent, gone over the stats. Let's move to the review. At the very end, I will break this down, show you each of the components and how small this thing can become because it's incredible. It really is. Now, when it comes to my experiences with this tent, I've spent more nights in this tent than I can count. Temperatures ranging from roughly 45 degrees all the way down to roughly zero degrees Fahrenheit. Now with my testing so far, I have to say that it has done an amazing job at handling adverse conditions. I spent one night in this where we had 12 hours of rain. The rain was never very intense. I would say it was a moderate rain. Uh, the winds were blowing just a little bit, but it was nothing crazy. It wasn't a severe thunderstorm by any means. It handled the rain without any issues. As you can imagine with 12 hours of rain, it was very humid, very muggy. This tent did an amazing job with ventilation. Moisture control with this tent here is off of the hook. It really is. You have that double wall, which keeps you dry. So any of the condensation that forms on this is on the fly. When you have this staked out, the fly is pulled away from the body. So air comes up and dries that moisture. I mean, it really is impressive. When it comes to four season tents and moisture control, this is right up there at the top from what I've experienced. I mean, it really does an amazing job. Just as this tent handles the rain very well, it also handles snow very well. Again, the coldest temperatures that I experienced with this tent were right at zero degrees with heavy snow, and it really did a great job in that scenario. Again, moisture control was fantastic. There was some slight icing from condensation on the inside of the tent. It wasn't horrendous by any means. I've definitely experienced worse, but that is to be expected in those type of conditions. It sheds snow very well. Once you have this fully staked out with all the guy lines, this thing is rock solid. And I mean it, 100% rock solid. I've experienced winds up to 55 miles an hour in this tent and I mean, it handled it with ease. Never did I feel uneasy. Let's go over that one more time. Waterproof, windproof, snowproof, tons of space. I mean, you could easily spread out, have your gear all over. You could bring your kid, you could bring your wife, you could bring your dog, whatever you want. There's enough space inside of this to handle any sort of combinations of situations. For one person, it's a palace. For two people, it's still a lot of room. Now, when it comes to setup, I have to admit it is a slow process. I've set this thing up so many times that I could do it blindfolded. And in very good conditions, it still takes me 15 minutes or so. In harsh conditions, it takes even longer because you have to keep track of everything. You have to really make sure that things aren't flying around in the wind. If you want a four season tent that sets up quickly, this is not it. This is not it. I've said it before in other videos, there are four season tents that can be set up quicker. But the truth is with most four season tents, it takes this long. It will take 10, 15, 20 minutes to set them up. That is the nature of a true four season tent, especially one that is double walled like this one here. Speaking of the double wall that does seal in the heat very, very well. You could get this tent once it's fully sealed up to be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer inside than it is on the outside. That's not bad. You do have the mesh front and back for ventilation, which means that you can use this in the summertime. That's a huge plus. An issue that I have with many four season tents is that they can only be used in the coldest of winter because in the summertime, they're just too hot. This one here, you have plenty of options. You can remove the vestibule. So, I mean, options galore. You can use this in all sorts of situations. Now, folks, if there was one thing that I was concerned about with this tent, it would be back here at the foot with this rear vent. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you have this rear vent, right? Well, take a look here at the fly where it stops at. You don't have much distance from the top of the fly to that vent. With the zipper not being waterproof, this means if you were in a very nasty rainstorm where the wind is really blowing that rain into the side of that tent, there is a potential there for water to come in through that zipper. That is the only weakness that I've discovered with this tent. Now, I have not had that happen to me. And I base this thought on my experiences with other Sierra Design products. Rain will come through those zippers. I would love to see the fly here be extended just a bit, you know? That would give you that much more security. So that is con number one. I suppose another con would be this color right here. Let me ask you all this, folks. What do you guys think about the yellow and blue combination? That is the only color which this tent is available in. What do you guys think? Now, in my opinion, 
you know, it's not terrible. I, I don't hate it. I've definitely seen worse colors out there, but this is not my style by any means. I don't like bright colors. I don't like flamboyant colors. I like dark earth tones. Imagine if this tint was in a coyote brown or an OD green or something along those lines. That would be so sick. I mean, I would go out and buy one like that, like that. Heleberg is a company who has taken that route and they've begun using colors like that to a great benefit. They're one of the best tent makers out on the market and they are offering their customers a wide range of colors to choose from. And that is something that Sierra Designs needs to do. Not everybody wants to have a tent that looks like a Teletubby playground. You know what I'm saying? And this one does. The yellow, the blue, it's bright, it's flamboyant. I'm thinking Teletubby playground every time I use it. Now, of course, there are many companies out there who only offer tents with colors just like this, North Face and so on, it's very common. So I can't really single out Sierra Designs for their choice to go with these colors. It does fit in with their company, but if they would like to expand their market to individuals really like myself and a lot of the viewers, they need to consider those darker earth tone colors. They really do, because that would take their business to the next level. I promise you, they're going to make a lot of money. They're going to sell a lot of tents because not everybody wants to go out and stick out like a sore thumb on top of the mountain in their bright yellow and blue tent. Had to put my jacket on, I'm getting nice and cold, so let's wrap this up, everyone. You know, for the most part, I've gone over the pros and the cons. I, I like this tent a lot, I really do. It's impressed me in many different ways. It's very well thought out. I mean, it does take a while to set up, but that's a common trait with other four season tents. It's not really a knock against this one, it's more of a knock against most four season tents. Excellent space, very good weight. I mean, you could take off the vestibule, extremely sturdy, handles the rain very well, handles the snow extremely well, handles the wind extremely well. Do I trust this tent to take it out into a four season storm? Absolutely, 100%, yes I do. Now it's time to break this tent down. This is a three pole tent, double walled. So you have the fly, the body, and then the three poles. Tons of stakes, we'll get to that in just a minute. Time to break it down. The vestibule pole is exposed on the outside, which can be a problem if there's freezing rain or so on because this can freeze. Luckily, it's only one pole and the rest are completely hidden. Very good quality aluminum poles, very thick and sturdy. It should be mentioned that all the zippers are YKK, excellent quality. They do a good job of going back and forth without getting caught. Now, as mentioned before, this is a three pole tent. You have the one pole for the vestibule. You have this large main blue pole. Then you have the third center pole. So here is the component breakdown for you. You have the body, you have the fly, you have three poles, 15 stakes by my count, and the storage bag. So the tent has been put up, stowed away inside of the storage bag, stuff sack. Look at how small this is. Keep in mind, this is a four season tent. That is incredible. I mean, most four season tents are about twice the size of this, really. This is 18 inches long, eight inches wide. For this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, that is it. We're all done, wrapped up, nothing else to say. If you have any questions for me, email me. Until next time, strength and honor. See you guys on the trail. By the way, make sure to comment down below. Let's tell Sierra Designs that we wanna see their products in different colors.